Hello, this is Shade, the walking walkthrough here, with a review of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Street Fighter Cross Tekken! Now the character board has 18 Street Fighter characters and 18 Tekken characters. Plus there will be 12 downloadable characters that will be released at a later date. Once you choose your characters, then you select a gem setup. These can be customized to your preferences in the customize option. Each gem does different things, like they give you extra hitting power or help fill your power gauge faster. Now the story behind Street Fighter Cross Tekken is very weak and not very well thought out. A comet apparently fell from the sky. However, it wasn't a comet, it was Pandora's box. The object which is set Despite the vigilant guard, someone had Once you get to the end and beat the last boss, you can get a standard ending. Or an ending made specifically for the team you picked. When Pandora was finally located, it had already been opened and its contents stolen. Though we finally obtained Pandora, once that is over and the credits roll, you get another character's specific ending in the form of text and talking. Some of the Tekken characters have added projectiles. There are several ways to tag out. The traditional tag. The tag pop-up. At the end of most combos, you can also hit hard attack twice. That can lead to accidental tag outs and bad attack opportunities. And finally, the tag power combo, where your starting character beats on the opponent first, then tags your other character, letting them do their special. Plus, each character has a special move that they can do without even having any power bar at all. Some of the stages transition into other stages after the first round. However, there are problems with some of the combos that should hit. Near the end of the game, you fight dark glowing versions of certain tag teams, depending on which characters you pick. Then at the end of the fight, you'll either fight Ogre or Akuma, depending on whether you pick the Street Fighter character or a Tekken character first. As a whole, it seems like a lot of the Tekken characters either got robbed, or they are way too powerful. And the Street Fighter characters all just kind of stay the same. This makes the game feel off balance, and the random tagging after combos makes me really not like this game in my opinion. However, it's a decent fighting game. I give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe.